Before we get going with Proluk Hutagu, the very first thing we want to think about is what the child sees and what they can access when we turn the iPad on. Now, I've only got my iPad here to turn on, I haven't got yours, but first of all, the first thing that happens is we see the home screen, and yours will look something like this. And Proluk Hutagu could be anywhere, it could be buried, we've got lots of apps here, it could be difficult to find if it's buried in amongst lots of apps. So what we want to do is move it so that it's quick to find it. So I'm going to hold my finger down on the wee Proluk Go To Go Owl until all the apps start pulsing. That means they're ready to be moved. I need to be careful not to press the delete cross on the top left hand side. I'm just going to hold it and I can move it anywhere I want to then. I'm going to move it right down onto the tray because that tray stays the same whichever page or screen you're on. I'm going to press the home button now to stop them pulsing because I don't want to move or delete anything by accident. And now we find it's there. If we switch off and switch on again at a later date, we should always find it ready to roll um, straight away from the tray. That's the first step to making Proloco easy to access. Now, we touch it to switch it on, but of course, the children know that if they just press this home button, they can find lots of other exciting things. So the first thing we want to do is think about that. And what we probably want to do is set up some restrictions and some access um, limits, if you like. So I'm going to go on and look at that in a minute so that we're guiding the child into Proloco to go and they kind of have to stay there. That's going to be their main app and they're not going to be able to wander about all over the place on their iPad and they're not going to be able to wander about all over the place on the internet. So the next thing we'll look at is um, some of the settings that can let us do that.